The atmosphere is a big blanket of air that surrounds our planet, kind of like a cozy sweater. It's made up of different gases, like nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, as well as tiny particles like dust and water droplets. The atmosphere is super important because it does a lot of things to help us live on Earth. The Earth's atmosphere can be divided into five main layers, each with its own unique characteristics. Here's a brief overview of each layer, starting from the surface and moving upward. These are only approximate altitude values. Troposphere, this is the lowest layer of the atmosphere, and it's where all the weather happens. It extends from the Earth's surface up to an altitude of about 12 kilometers. The air in this layer is denser and warmer near the surface, and it gets colder as you go higher up. Stratosphere The stratosphere extends from the top of the troposphere up to an altitude of about 50 kilometers. It's a very important layer because it contains the ozone layer, which absorbs harmful UV radiation from the sun. The air in the stratosphere gets warmer as you go higher up. Mesosphere The mesosphere extends from the top of the stratosphere up to an altitude of about 85 kilometers. This is the layer where you can see shooting stars and other meteors burning up as they enter the atmosphere. The air in the mesosphere gets colder as you go higher up. Thermosphere the thermosphere extends from the top of the mesosphere up to an altitude of about 600 kilometers. This is the layer where the International Space Station orbits the Earth. The air in the thermosphere is very thin, and it can get extremely hot and it can reach as high as 2000 degrees Celsius near the top, because it's bombarded by solar radiation. Exosphere the exosphere is the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, and it extends from the top of the thermosphere out into space. There is no clear-cut upper boundary where the exosphere finally fades away into space. Some scientists say it is 190,000 kilometers. It's a very thin layer, and the air is so spread out that it's almost like a vacuum. This is where the Earth's atmosphere gradually blends into the vacuum of space. Each layer has its own unique properties and plays an important role in the Earth's climate and environment. Without the atmosphere, life as we know it, wouldn't exist. Did you know? The Kármán line is a boundary 100 kilometers above mean sea level that borders Earth's atmosphere and the beginning of space. However, defining exactly where space begins can be rather tricky and depends on who you ask. This is because Earth's atmosphere doesn't end abruptly but instead gets thinner and thinner at higher altitudes, which means there's no definitive upper boundary. Thank you for watching.